Hey guys, it's Patrick here, PCTV, coming to you from historic Main Street Car Show in Garden Grove. Anyway, it's a busy night. Uh, don't have quite as many cars as we normally have here, but we sure have a lot of folks here. So it's, uh, it's a challenge to get anyone to see stuff. So we'll take a look at this Fairlane that's uh, sitting right here right now. And this looks to be a 62 Fairlane. Nice clean car. Nice interior. Small block in it. Very nice. Looks like a 289. And uh, we have Robert's brand new C10. We're all brand new for him. 71 C10 that Robert just picked up. And it's got a LS3 in it. So yeah, this is the setup he's got here. LS3 setup. Joking, you know, because I'm looking for a C10, but this thing. So yeah, this is Robert's new car, and uh, <laughs> oops, I just realized we got music playing next to here. But yeah, he just got this truck. It's very cool. Interior's nice, in air conditioned cab, which is also very cool. Nice patina. That's pretty kind of clean overall. Anyway, Robert's truck. So it was C10. Actually, I have one in pieces myself. Yeah, <laughs> I've been more than once. All right. He's showing off right now. Here's a nice left 100 over here. Let me swing over here. Nice little lefty. Heavy. <laughs> Got my uh, petrol for the evening. I like this car. Hey, Blur. How you doing, girl? Nice. Okay, we have the 23 page here. I think it's in the drinker pretty quick. Great clean. Close here. I believe this belongs to Steve Pavish. Yeah, this is Steve Pavish's, and uh, it's for sale. I think Steve's had this car for quite a while, actually. Very clean. He's got the Cadillac Kelsey Hayes style wheels. And here's a, what I would call a big body El Camino. It's like a 75, maybe 74. Very original. Hey, there's Blair again. I gotta see this. I gotta look at this bubble top. Yeah. All right. Gotta look at this bubble top. Very clean car here. And uh, this is one. I think he's had it here before. I didn't mean to jump in front of that kid, but yeah, I did. Sweet. I think he's here. 56, I think. Very clean car. Oh man, I got a bad shoulder tonight. Alright. Coming around here at 57. Doug's yep, this is Doug's car. This one wins here quite a bit. For good reason. It's a 
beautiful, beautiful, beautiful car. Very nice. Alright. Ah, oh, there's Jerry's car. And Tanya rolled in later. He's all done up for 4th of July. Yeah, this is, I guess, our 4th of July edition. There's 37. There he is. How you doing, Jerry? Got the I like the flags, yep. Not too, not overdone. Just, just right. Just right. Just enough. Nice uh, Bel Air right here. You get a nice, uh, you get a nice twofer right here. Very nice twofer. Look at that. Yeah, I'm gonna have to take a look at this one here. Still there. Beautiful interior. Off the bat to throw. It's got the little uh, dedication. Very nice car. Looks like US mags. Didn't know you were back. I remember those when I was a teenager. You know, US mags. I had slotted mags on my mini pickup. My Datsun 620. 73. Very straightforward. It's a great motor setup. Very clean. Here is this great, great 74. And I get, unfortunately, the hood is closed on now. But it's set up with an LS under the hood. And it's it's pretty amazing. All the plug wires and everything are hidden. It's really dope, and it's original paint, so it's got the great patina on it. And uh, yeah, they've done the LS6 conversion onto it. They closed it all up now, but they had it, they had it all open up before. And uh, very, very nice truck. It's got the poverty caps on, original white wheels, it's got hand cooks, it's got bumper. Behind it here is a on the ground F100. Very bad. Got to switch hands here. Get another look here at this uh, C10. Let's walk around on it. On it. Yeah, they closed her up. They must have gone somewhere. They had her all opened up before. But she's all closed up now. And again, very pretty truck.
Arsenal again. Great looking car. Got American Racing wheels on it. Setup. I mean, this is probably, probably the, the winner for me of the night right here. It's probably one of the, the best cars of the night. But then we've got the Mercury still to look at. We've also got a really exceptional Mustang here that's a little chromey for me, but on, still not bad. If you want to see some chrome and some mirrors, here you go. Chrome don't get you home. It'll do something for you. This is the, must. This is the bright yellow Mustang. Let's go like a 65 maybe. It is yellow. Flame job on the hood. Like a 65, okay, here we go. Here's a 56. Sorry, I'm not talking much. It's really loud. Like Six Bel Air. Running Foose wheels. Very custom interior. TMI seating. High center console, run and button steering wheel, stock dash. Screwed together very nicely. Radiator setup's killer. Nice injection setup. Got a fuel forward setup on his radiator. Very nicely done. Super, super clean example here. Really like this car. I don't know Queen's house is this Merc. Best sleeper in town right here. Best freaking sleeper in town. This thing will kick your butt. It is blindingly fast. 
And we're looking at Roger Peterson's 383 Stroker four-door Bel Air 57 wagon. And she's got a patina that you can never ever replace. So he leaves it just the way it is. And that nice patina on it. All right, so we turn back and look at this Rivy again. And I think that's Troy's truck over there. Uh, another good look at the Merc. She's a sweetheart. A lot of folks here tonight, that's for sure. A lot of folks here. Yeah. So, get a look here at the... Get a look here at the Ranchero. So, Bob King's Ranchero here. He owns the old Bob, the piano guy. Walking around Supporting getting a little... Garden Road, Diane Bain. Right. Absolutely. Got Willie's Automotive. PCTV, Willie's Automotive. <laughs> Supporting Diane every week, PCTV. Yeah, Supporting her every week. Yeah. Yes, Sam. And there we go. Here's Patty the Packard. Yeah, I'm just walking yeah, around. Patty the Packard's going to be in Blacktop Magazine. Oh, very nice. And of course, we got Dan's truck here. Thanks, Tony. Nice stuff. Glad they showed up. What are they hanging out at? Of course, we got Sandra's Wonder Woman Mustang here. You see it over here? Oh, brick house. There you 68. go. C10 or C20. I think it's a C20. That's very nice. Here's that scar. It's on board. Is that Hodges? 
one of our local guys. And here's Sammy's Mustang. Oh, and the, thank God the alarm's not going off tonight, sweetheart. Very clean, his school Mustang. And of course, we got Sandra Moore's car over here. And uh, it's another uh, new body style with Mustang. Hope everyone's getting pictures. Here's that 70 purple Challenger RT. And here's a 54, the 54 wagon that I just really love. This thing is just gorgeous. One of my favorite rides that comes to Garden Grove is right here. This is a good one. Yep, they mean it when they say don't touch. Don't touch. It's beautiful. And I'm ready for a couple of Gatorades. Hey guys, how's it going? Alright, how are you? Loving the wagon. Thank you very much. Thanks for bringing it out. It looks Thanks. great. Yeah, it's just so tight. Every time I see it, I just love this car. It's a 54, right? 54, yes sir. And it's correctly called a... It's a Suburban or is it a... It's a wagon. It's a uh, 210 wagon. It is... Oh, oh, it is a 210 wagon. 210 wagon. Okay. Heard the term so many times, <laughs> and now I see the tail lights and the body line. It's a 210 wagon. That's very cool. Thanks. Thank you really very much. Really appreciate bringing it out. It's crazy. Love it. So, yeah, I don't see a lot of 210 wagons, if ever. So, here we go. He's got uh, a couple of double, looks like buyer compressors in here. He's bagged. He's got a nice rack set up in here. Speaker kickers. So, he's got sounds and he can freaking make it move. There's this nice C10 here. A lot of body work under this. Got a bridge in it, smooth bed. You can't really use it like a shop truck like I use mine for. Little Frank and Tannis for a shop truck. But this is very cool. It's a good example where I could go if I wanted to go with Frank and Ten. But right now it's not where I'm headed. Look at that. He's got a fully smooth dash. You know, it's a, it's a look. A lot of work went into this truck. That's what I will say for it. A lot of work went into the paint too. And again, you know, it's it's what you like, it's what you like. It's got boys cartoon wheels on it. It's got the flame side markers. So cool. here's Gibbs uh, 72. This is a great 72 Malibu. Chevelle. It's actually Chevelle SS, not a Malibu. I don't know why I would say Malibu. There you go. Willie's, of course. Grusky, always. Here's his interior. Always on point, super clean. Paint's always very good on this car. And tonight we've got a big complement of Corvairs of all things. And it's nice to see a Spider. You got, of course, a Spider here. It's actually really a nice car. And it's a 280 horsepower turbo powered <coughs> Corsa. A lot of horsepower for a, for a Corvair, and uh, sorry about my dry throat here. But look at this engine. This thing's got a full-blown dual side draft. Well, it's a single side draft with a turbocharger. Very extremely quick. But that's very nice. But right next to it is also another Corsa. It's silver. It's very nice. These guys' interior pushed up. He's got a pretty stock interior. Looks to be very original. Very clean inside, but now here's where the big difference is. And the big difference is right here in the back. He's got a small block. Jeez, he's got a small block Ford, like a 302 or a 289 sitting in this thing. It's crazy. He's a madman, or he's taking a Chevy and he's moved the uh, distributor drive up forward with one of that. Those crazy kids that that guy does at uh, Derelicts. But anyway, he's got a small block rear engine mounted. This has got to be a handful to get down the road. So craziest uh, car of the night. This one wins. And there's actually one more. There's a yellow one here too. It's got the Lyrock wheels on it. Yellow. Rally stripes. 
decent interior. That motor's pretty standard. It's like a dual, like dual Cadrones. You know, it's an everyday, everyday guy's uh, Corvair, and it's clean. And dual cars and everything, battery set up in the back. And here we go, here's the four-door Bel Air, rolled in on the original Patina car. Very clean car. So we keep walking. And we uh, come around on this one. Oh, that's what gets it down the road. There we go, another sleeper, Ellis conversion in this four-door family sedan. You'd never know. Yeah. Got GT 350 over here. Real pretty. Nice pretty GT 350. Max would go crazy over this one. Very sanitary under the hood. And I want the Everything done right. Hey, what's up? Good. How you doing? It has an air conditioner. This is your car This is mine. Uh, hey, how we doing? Good, how's it going? You're on PCTV, buddy? <laughs> good to see you. <laughs> it's good to see you. Well, I was, just, I was just saying how beautiful your car is. Oh, well, thank you. Thank and you it's much. yours. It's mine. <laughs> yes, it is. Yes, it is. All right, love the car. So I'm doing my final walkthrough, and I did not know this was Ken's car. And it's beautiful. He's got the under, under dash air, dealer added, you know, like the Sunco gauges, you know, all the stuff I remember from when my dad and his friends would add to their cars and their kids because that was the aftermarket for these guys back then but now we got to look at this uh this Ford truck here and it's the belt side this is like the 6970 the mr majestic truck i used to call it but this some bitch on the ground full body drop tubular arms you can see and it looks like yeah he's fully refronted He's got, uh, he's got rid of his stock cross members all completely gone. Yeah, the motor's been gone through, but yeah, look at the stance on this thing. He's all the way up under the hood. The relays. Isn't that crazy? Lays very deep. So this thing is laying rocker. This is what I used to do back in the day, man. We used to make them lay rocker like this. This brings me back to my old days. I love seeing this stuff. I just don't build it anymore. It's not what I do anymore. I do, you know, I do a completely different gig now. He's on automatic on this one. Very cool Ford. So we're gonna finish up with the usual lot here. We got the 68 here. We got the 3100 Apache. Maybe a 3200. Three quarter time. Of course, the ice cream man's here. Can't forget. How you doing? And Jack's got the uh, Studelac here. We saw him earlier. We've got a late model Shelby. And to finish it up, we probably have the last of the Ranchero Falcons. I think this is a 67? 66? I think this is the very last year of the Ranchero Falcons. Let me see. Uh, 66. I'm thinking this is the last year for the Falcon. There goes Blair. Man, I'm feeling fat. I've really porked up lately. I've been eating and drinking way too much. Anyway, uh, I believe this is the last year of the Falcon. So this is my walk through at Garden Grove. Um, hope you guys enjoyed it. It's uh, been kind of a long evening, a long week, and I was a little tired out. I'm gonna go find myself some water and uh, God bless. Happy 4th of July. And we'll have more video coming up as they uh, roll out and other things come up out of the show. See ya.